Welcome, everybody. Yes, and as you can tell from the setting here, it's not the usual set. I've been telling you over the last couple of days that we're back, and we're back. We've just had a couple of setbacks, and I'm getting a lot of calls, and I really want to thank you for your support, but I thought we'd take out a little trip to show you what's going on. If you can see behind me here, this is our control room, and we don't really have access to it because they're sheetrocking and doing all kinds of things that are creating dust for us. So we get access to it about one hour a day, and we're trying to put together some of the stories and some of the interviews so that at least we can stay in touch with you. Uh, what's particularly important to us is that you let other people know. Um, I'm getting calls even at home and emails at, at home, and the word is out that we suffered damage from this flood, but some people don't know if we're coming back. And I just want you to know that we're working around the clock and working as hard as we can to make absolutely certain that we do get back again. So, in any rate, I want to show you our world just for a second, okay? All right, here is our control panel. Now, you might just take a, a, a look over here because, as you can see, the water came up to about here. Can you imagine all of that water in here? So they resheet rocked all of this, and once they finish sanding it, we should have access to this control room again. I'm going to take you inside over here. If you come back over here, this is the data room. Just take a look up here at the amount of wiring. The water came flooding through here and then traveled across the ceiling and into the control room, which is where we sustained most of the damage. And as you can see, what was once a conference room is now a stage to try to get all of the vacuuming, all of the sheetrock, and all the painting done. How do you like this? So as you can see, we got a lot going on around here. Now every day also, I'll be tossing to our meteorologist, Clarence, so that we can give you an update on this really kind of strange weather that we're having. So here's your local forecast from our Glens Falls Weather Center. Thank you, Jesse. I'm meteorologist Clarence Ponser with your first look weather update here on Look TV. National forecast shows low pressure and cold front advancing through the Midwest, bringing some messy weather in form of rain, but also some ice potential from the mid-Mississippi Valley all the way to the Ohio Valley, maybe even into portions of the Northeast. So we'll have to monitor this very, very carefully here as temperatures will drop into the 30s and 40s as far north as Albany. We'll see an overnight low of 42 in Clifton Park. Saratoga Springs about 41 degrees. Same goes for Greenwich. Upper 30s towards Fort Edward and Whitehall. Glens Falls upper 30s to around 40 degrees. And upper 30s also in Johnsburg and Parsville. So mild overnight with that tenth of an inch to quarter inch of rain. So no ice potential. Highs and lows are above freezing. We stay above freezing on Friday. 51 with that half to three quarter inch of rain threat. Wet and cool as you walk out the door. Mid 40s, maybe upper 40s through the 8 a.m. hour. And let's take a look at the extended forecast. We'll see much colder weather and that means snow chances return, maybe some sleep mixing in early in the day on Saturday, 24, the best we can do, but then we cool down to zero for Sunday morning, 14 partial sunshine, then 16 on Monday, minus 60 overnight low, so you're going to need an extra cup of coffee and then an extra blanket, and then we'll see a 50% chance of snow potential on Tuesday, 22, the afternoon high. That was your weather update here on Look TV. I'm meteorologist Clarence Sponsor. Now I send it back to you, Jesse.